Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Yes, I will be sticking with that intro. Welcome to Midnight Scenes Episode 2. I think, yeah, it's episodes, not chapters or anything. I'm recording this video, like, pretty much right after the I recorded the first one, so I don't know if you enjoyed the f first one. Hopefully you did. But I enjoyed it, so I thought I might as well keep going on with this. But for you, it's a week later. How crazy is that? Anyway, we're just gonna get on, because I'm... I'm a bit of a sickler for long intros, apparently. Welcome, players from all dimensions by the eye. Alright, Doctor Strange. Ha, <laughs> good joke. <sighs> In tonight's episode of Midnight Scenes, we follow Dr. Ross P. Griffin. Richard P. Griffin. During the scariest journey of his life. So it, it's different people. Like It's like a collection of scary stories. That's cool. For Dr. Griffin, things will never be the same again. I wonder if all these... um. All these stories are gonna sort of collide, if you know what I mean. Like, I think it was Claire is ever is gonna meet this Doctor Richard, and they're all gonna experience something together. I, I don't know. I'm just theorizing here. Turn off the lights. The lights are off, but it's the middle of the day. <laughs> and relax. Uh, midnight scenes will begin after this quick word from our sponsor. Come on, you have sponsors. What? Support your indie devs. Buy the game for one pound or more. Get my eternal gratitude. Buy it for five pound dollars or more. Get the awesome midnight scenes to art book. Okay, we're just gonna move on from that. This game is free if you wanna get. It. Oh, there's the familiar stars and the familiar tune. Oh, you can't see me, but I'm raving right now. Midnight scenes. A short game by Octavave. I'm not going to even try and pronounce that. And we scroll down. Yeah, it's weird, because if you look at the corners, it looks like a TV. Maybe that's feeding into it. Is this gonna, guy going to be driving as well? Oh, actually, if you remember from the first one, there were some doctors... Oh, okay. I was going to say there were some doctors on the, um, on the floor dead, but I don't think that's him. Madison, my love. Hold on. There we go. I'm afraid there's not much time left. Sorry, it w the click wouldn't work for some reason, so I just had to restart it. If you, if I had known that our goodbye at the airport was to be our last, I would have told you everything. Ooh. I hope this note will reach you someday. That would mean my fears are unfounded. So, it seems like his wife died in a plane crash? But why would he be writing to her if she did? I don't know. I'd, I'll just be gone a few days, my son. A week at most. Oh, so he's getting on the plane. So maybe he crashed somewhere and he's writing to her? I just don't understand why this work meeting is so pressing. <laughs> I love the little mouths. Uh, just... <laughs> I mean, um, making your cross the country out of the blue with almost no notice. We were supposed to be visiting Dad at the lake this weekend. You know, I wouldn't go if it wasn't important. That gas leak in the lab last night has put everyone on edge. You told me it was nothing. Should I be worried? No, it was only a small accident. Everything's under control. Sabotage? They just need uh, to do some paperwork. You know how these things are. Why can't you just like send it along? I'll call you as soon as I get to Washington, okay? Ah, oh, that's nice. Kisses his wife. That's a big plane. Oh, okay, so I'm moving. So, arrow keys? Oh, no, it's a point-and-click game, isn't it? Um, so, when um, when I went to episode two, it, the art kind of looked different. No, I mean, when, um, when I booted up the game, and I, w I was kind of worried that it w wouldn't be like the same developer, but it, but uh, I guess my fears were unfounded. Sir, may I have your ticket, please? Here. Good evening, sir. May I have your ticket, please? Oh, uh, yes. Yes. Uh. Adding dialogue. Where do I push? Where do I put it? Richard, here. Oh, where did I like the ticket? I thought he was being crude. I. F it fell out your pocket. My love, you've been distracted all day. Is there something worrying you? Everything's fine, my dear. Well, apart from the gas leak, you know, that, that, that was pretty bad. 
I have to go now, or I'll be late. Love you. Alright, bye, sweetie. Uh, here, here you go. I'm spitting on them on the screen. May I see your ticket, please, sir? Here you go. I bet, I bet she's so sick of asking me. Here it is. God damn. Thank you, sir. Have a nice flight. Will do. Alright, love you both. Um, you know what? I'm probably never going to make it back, so I, I can get away with that. Tonight's episode, the goodbye note. Ooh. Is that door open? Oh, no, we haven't set off yet. I was a bit worried. I like the animations for them. That's, they're quite cool. All right, so we're just going to sit in 5A. 5A, I'm not sure that's my seat. I should probably check my ticket. Okay, what is your ticket say? 5A. Okay. So that is your seat. Just sit down, man. Okay. So, all right, there she goes. Excuse me, sir. Let me help you put your suitcase in the overhead compartment. No, thank you. I'll carry it with me. I'm sorry, sir. The regulations. It'll stay with me, thank you. Always getting a bit defensive. Eh. I don't care about my job enough to fight you. So I'm guessing there's something important in there. Taking that plane was a mistake. I trapped myself. Why, what happened? So I kind of guessed the last game was round about the 1960s, and I'm guessing this is round the same era. Ladies and gentlemen, we are entering a thunderstorm and may experience some turbulence. We are all screwed. Please remain seated and keep your belts fastened. Thank you. This has been your captain. Captain... Uh, obvious. Your wine, sir. I won't have wine during the thunderstorm. Ooh, that's a cool shot. Oh, there's th there be the thunder. I don't try... I've, I've been afraid of getting on a plane ever since... Um, like, you watch these shows about these planes crashing, and I've just never wanted to um, get on one since. I've never been on one, so I, I, I couldn't tell you if it was bad or not. Can lightning make a plane explode, ma'am? Just try to sleep, dear. You didn't answer the question. I want to know as much as the kid does. Oh, she's a busy lady. Whoa! Oh, crikey. Oh, everyone's gone. This is very last train home. Where is everyone? What? No, no, no. What? Where did everyone go? No. Leave me alone. What have you done with these people? All these people? Who's he talking to? You'll never get the L sign while I'm alive. You hear me? Never. Oh, was it that lady? My head is spinning so fast right now. Like the one who wanted to take the luggage off him. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's a demon or something? I don't know. My head is spinning so fast right now. You might be wondering the real reason I got on that sp this plane. I knew I was hiding. S you knew I was hiding something. <sighs> it all started last night when I had a uh, one night stand in the lab. Sorry it's so late, honey. I had to review this long checklist before calling it a day. But I'm on my way now. Hold on. There's someone at the door. Ooh. <laughs> I just stopped going on this joke. No, I don't think I'll go to Colson's party now. I don't even have a present for him. Fair enough. And, you know, nobody will miss me anyway. Oh, poor man. Go to bed. I'll be home soon. I'm just going to do my normal voice. Hello? Who's there? Oh, is it balloons? There's balloons on lights. What was that noise? It came from the control station. So is this the first time he's going to meet this thing? Are these plumes? Oh, it could be. There's a switch there. I'm with. Whoa! Getting some s stranger things vibes. Hello? Let's turn the switch. Okay. Is this place just going to maze? Oh, there's something. Oh, it's just um someone fixing it. Linda, you scared me to death! I thought... You were at Coleman's party with everyone else. Oh, Richard, thank God you're still here. Hmm. I'm a bit worried about Linda. I might have a problem. I think the clean room might be compromised. She might be... So, I, um... I suspected with that lady taking the suitcase, like, really wanting to. I guess that whatever he was running from or whatever he was hiding the briefcase from can maybe shapeshift, so maybe this is the same person, because it's like, oh, I thought you were at this party, no, I'm here, sort of like, there's two of them, 
I, I don't know. I'm going off on one. Wait, what? What happened? I was doing maintenance in the main console when I heard noises from the roof. Listen. Well, that was good timing. She said, listen, and it happened. Wow, fancy that. Did you hear that? We might have a small animal trapped in the vents. But it's impossible for her area is sealed. Maybe it's a seal. <laughs> that was a really... Was that even a joke? What am I doing with my... Okay. Is it, though? Damn. Do you think it might be a rat? A bird? Anything from outside the seal sealed unit would be enough to contaminate the whole airspace and ruin months of research. It sounds like, um... I'd say a bird more than a rat, but I don't know why I know my noises. I better get to the clean room and make sure the Esalen is secure. Yes, good idea. No idea what this Esalen thing is. Elision. Huh. We should go... We should be able to unlock the clean room doors from this console, but Coleman is the only one who knows how the thing works. Let's take a look. Insert code. We need to use this correct combination of keys enable to, to enable the console. I know Coleman keeps a list of codes somewhere. I'll wait here until you find it. Please hurry. Okay, so it's like up, down, left and right. So it's gonna be like, I don't know, up, down, left, right, uh, down, up, right, left, I don't know. Should I be leaving all these lights on? Okay, so this is the clean room, locked. The clean room door can only be unlocked from the console. Okay, so we'll go around here. Ooh, a map used in Antarctica Expedition. It marks the spot where Elisa was found. Okay. Maybe there's something there, but I can't. Oh, here's Coleman's desk. Coleman's. Coleman's desk. You, wh whatever, it's his desk. I'm sure everyone's having a great time at that party. I'm probably the only guy I know who would rather spend the night working than attending a so any kind of social event. No, 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 I would, uh, I'd do it too. I'd, I don't like going to parties. Alright, let's have a look. There's a keyboard, there's a lamp. Draw, we'll check the draw. No book. We're just stealing his things. Hmm. Oh, God, it's a code. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, these are, these are all the months. Don't know what this is. Hmm. Yeah, these are the months. I, I don't know what that says. Lud, Lud, do you roll? These anagrams? I don't know. Um, right, we got the keyboard. Welcome to Coleman. How can I help you? This one. Classify content error 21090. What about games? Shall I play a game? Yes. Sorry, games have been disabled by your administration. Are you kidding me? So, what if you just say no without just returning me to. Damn it. Okay, so that was completely useless. Wait, actually, there's some nozzles here I want to try and turn in. I don't think they'll do anything though. Okay, no. Uh, anything else? Oh, there's a party hat. Um. No, okay. Uh, let's. I don't know where else they would be. My desk, the only one with some sense of order in this lab. What, what do you have in your drawer? Oh, can't get there. There's the phone. Who am I ringing? Come in, Coleman. Answer the phone. Nothing, of course. It's only 11 pm. He still have the whole night ahead of him to finish pickling his liver. Okay. What are your keyboard? Okay. Is there anything that we can do? No, okay. We'll go behind us then. Uh, is that a fridge? I don't know. There's gotta be something here, right? Oh, I'm not very good with puzzles. Can I open this door? No, okay. So we check Cole's, Cole's, Coleman's desk. Oh, there's some documents here. I think this is the Antarctica thing. Tamer. Yeah. Alright, so we've checked his desk and there's nothing. Um. And we need to somehow simplify. You got the codes? We need to somehow simplify it. 
to please hurry we need that code list so it's first where is the codes so it's up down left right and these are like one two three please the month I don't know if that contributes to anything though maybe oh up down left right is there a number on it anywhere do we just have to try these okay up down right left up down right left wrong code we should check Coleman's code list to make sure we get the right one the phone nothing it's only 11 p.m. he's still got the phone maybe 11 what's the, what's the 11th one left up right down so 11 is left up right down left nope that's up uh, left up right down no didn't think so Wrong code, we should get back to Cosmos code list to get the right one. So do, do I just have to try all these? Let's see. Oh, there's the Right, down, up, left. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it was 10 for some reason. Done. Real impressive, Richard. Well, I didn't know it. I just went through all of them. Okay, the door. The doors are open. I'm going in. Make sure you have your gun. Should we, should we, turn, off, should we, should we turn off this light? We'll turn off the light. You know, we don't want to... Actually, we should... Don't like that. We should be able to see where we're going. Shouldn't you have a... Oh, okay, you do have a... a, a decontamination suit. I know it's restricted access, but if you need any help hunting rats, I'm sure I can fit one of those suits. I don't think these... the regulations... Just kidding. I know you have a phobia when it comes to breaking rules. I'll be watching from the control center. Is that a natural thing? Oh, I'm curious now. Alright, well, it's a thing. I think everyone has a fear of breaking the law. Because you don't want to go to jail. Ooh, nice animation there. Oh, he's looking sick. Alright, is there anything we should be taking in? No? Okay. This feels very strange to things, you know. <sighs> okay, here we go. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be any longer than uh, the first game. Zzz. I know. I turned on the comm system. Shout out if you need anything. Linda! Linda, you're a... How? What? <laughs> hey, Linda. Could you increase the temperature a bit? It's freezing in here. I'm on it. I said a bit, Linda. A bit. Fahrenheit. Much better. Thanks. I, I don't... I, I'm, I, I'm an England boy, so I don't get Fahrenheit. I better leave this alone. I wouldn't want to break the refrigeration system. What do you mean the refrigeration system? You just bumped it up about 20... whatever. 20 degrees Fahrenheit? I don't know. I'm not hearing those noises anymore. Whatever it is, is probably gone now. Are you sure? I'm not seeing anything. That raises co cause for concern. But just to be safe, I'll ask the maintenance team to replace the filters tomorrow. Better be safe than sorry. Something gonna burst out of that vent. Okay, I think we can officially declare this false alarm. Everything looks normal here. Linda, I'm done. Can you open the door? You can open the door. I think you should check the Ilson. Make sure it's intact. I don't really think it's necessary. Everything's fine. Besides, I'd rather not open this secure compartment if it's not absolutely crucial. You know how, how 
how much that thing creeps at me out. Richard, I'd do it for you, but you are the only person with fingerprints access. So, this kind of cements the idea of maybe this thing is shape-shifting into her and trying to get whatever this is. We both have... We both heard noises. We don't want any surprises. Ugh, fine. Where am I going? This one. You best be careful. So we had it in this briefcase. So I don't think whatever it is has been stolen. The Elysian. The reason behind all the secrecy surrounding my job at the lab. And many sleepless nights. Okay, so this is what... This is the pit salt pyramid thing I saw on the concept art of the game. It was found in Antarctica a month ago. And all of our studies have it been inclusive so far. So what does it do? It wasn't made by human hands, but I fear it was created with humans in mind. Whatever it is, it doesn't belong on Earth, that's for sure. Okay, so it's alien. I knew it could hurt anyone if we kept it in the lab. Under strict control, but it's not safe anymore. I knew it couldn't hurt anyone. Okay. Uh, that was a bit weird. Um, its creators finally found it, and they went want it back. Everything okay in there? No signs of contamination as far as I can see. Okay, so the I think the aliens want it back, or whatever made it. So, maybe... I, I don't know. Are you going to seal it back up? Can you seal it back up? Oh, no. Linda! What's happening? Linda! Thanks, Linda. Uh, I really appreciate you. Linda, can you hear me? Well, mate, you're locked in here. Don't jump scare me. No. I, sw I swear to... Oh, uh, wait, what? Oh! Yep, I knew it. Linda, who are you? Yeah, I, I knew it was her. I knew, I knew it was... Where's Linda? What have you done to her? That was Linda. Bzz. Oh, I knew it. What do you want? You came for this thing, right? What is it? What are you doing with it? Oh, bitch. Oh, it's freezing me. The temperature's dropping. That thing wants to freeze me to death. The suit will keep me warm for a few minutes, but it won't hold for long. I've got to do something quick. I was terrified, blinded by fear. That creature tricked us into opening the secure compartment to get the Elysium. With Linda most likely dead, I felt the fate of all humankind weighing on my shoulders. I think that was Linda, but okay. So in the end, I did the only thing I could do, even if it was ultimately foolhardy and pointless. I found the strength somewhere inside me to escape the lab with the Elysian and the blood. This is just gonna... Right, do I just pick it up? Just got it. Okay. Um, can we escape through the vent? A screw. A big one. How do I... Oh, do I, I need to open this. The sensor controls the refrigeration system. I need to find a way to disable it before I freeze to death. Okay, is there any wires? Oh, there's a screwdriver. So we can unscrew this now. Got a screw. I don't know what that does. Can I... No. Uh, what does the screw do? the screw go anywhere? Red wire. Oh, I can... The attention to the cables didn't do anything. I need to find a way to break the short circuit the refrigeration system. How do I do that? Do I, what do I do? Where do I put this? Um, can I pull back the vent now? Oh, I can, yeah. No way, I would freeze to death. So what was the point of opening that then? Does this screw go somewhere? Detach wires. Oh, there we go. Boom! I'm a, I'm a genius. I don't know how long that took me to get. To be fair, it only took me like two minutes, I think. Okay, so we can we... Oh, we can go out the vent now. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, there's... What's this? So you're the one who's making a racket in here. You're not a raft at all, clearly. Why the hell are you th were you thrown in the vents? 
Can I pick any any of this up? It's just a robot. It was to get you in there, mate. Oh no, I don't like this. If this jump scares me again, I swear to God. Damn. I do like this game, but I will I will revoke it. I can do that because some someone gave me authority to review a game. Oh, my man's a badass. Just like Die Hard, except. He's got a hazmat suit and he's a scientist. I should take off the suit, I can barely move. But first, I need to find somewhere safe to put the Elysian. I'm not touching him with my bare hands. And you're off in your desk, maybe? Door. I better take off the suit first. Suitcases. Ah. Let go of the suitcase. They're, they're perfect for carrying dangerous materials to safety. Safely. Okay, so we put. I'm guessing you put the Elysian in there and then flew away to try and escape whatever was chasing him. At least for a few hours. Okay, so I need to, oh. oh. I thought it was code protected. All right, so we're going through here now. There's, there's my car. What the hell happened here? It's just one scratch, calm down. Man. Those are Linda's glasses. Okay, so this is Linda's car. And this is my car. So maybe she got attacked before she left, and it shape shape shifted into her. I, I don't know. I spent the night in a motel. I didn't dare risk going back home and exposing you to this nightmare. That's why I lied to you about the unexpected gas leak in the lab. That would be. That would keep me busy all night. My superior in Washington told me to take a plane and bring the Alicia to our headquarters. He thought we would be safe there. But in the end, it was all for nothing. I was trapped inside the airplane and I had to find a way to avoid the Elysium falling into the creature's hands. Flash! Whoa. I'll keep the briefcase on you, mate. Come on, you want the Elysium? C then come and get it. You have to kill me like you did Linda and all the passengers on this plane. I wouldn't goad it. I can't allow the Elysian to fall into the creature's hands. I need to find a way to get get off this plane. Okay. I will take it with you, but whatever. Because it can just snatch it. And to leave this plane as soon as possible, but killing myself won't solve anything. You sure? Can you even try it? Is somebody in there? Hello? The radio, I can hear the radio. I need to get in there and call for help. Locked, okay. So, I didn't like that noise, but you know, we, um, we move, we move. Oops, oh, we got an umbrella, okay. Um, I don't know what the umbrella would do, but, oh, what's this? Can we open it? And a fire extinguisher. I will, I will blast you. I'll do it. I don't like this, but whatever. Um, so maybe we can jam the umbrella into there. Locked. Maybe we can bash it down. Um, we break the window. There we go. Can't reach it, and that's what you get the umbrella for. It's it. I can't. I keep thinking it's a drag. You just click it. Oh my god! It's flying on its own. That creature must be controlling it somehow. This um. You know, when Midnight Scene started, it was kind of like based in realism. You could say this. Uh, this I, I don't know. <laughs> don't get me wrong. It's still good, and I think um anything that tries to set something up and then over-explain it just to have an explanation for it kind of defeats the purpose but at this point it is just like he's doing this somehow and you know there's there can be mixed signals for that anyway radio hello is anyone there I need help hello damn it's broken uh, oh yeah I just want to say as well that I feel like a lot of times someone thinks oh this would be cool but I don't know how to I, d I don't know how to um, implement that into the story 
creature flies its um, the creature is controlling the plane. I don't like this thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining about it, but you know, it just feels like a lot of times creators have to do something. Like that. I can't allow these to fall in this creature's hands in order to get off the plane. You have a parachute. Okay, I've got a parachute. Now let's do this. Listen, I can't leave without it. I just told you to grab it. I don't like that cloak. There was a cloak covering something. I do not like that. <laughs> okay. I'm glad I saved this till next time because it's, uh, I think this is a lot longer. Do I just go outside or do I need the Elysian? Okay, the Elysian's not here, so we just go outside. I might be pronouncing it wrong. I don't know. Okay, it landed in the snow. So I'm guessing we're in Antarctica where, where it was discovered. Ah! That's just the noise I imagine it making. Here's what you wanted! Just come and get it! Come on, do what you wanted to do. I don't care. I can't do this anymore. How come when you when it when you don't want it to ha give it, it tries to get it, but when you like go on then have it? There's like twice you've said it, and it just doesn't. I guess this is how it ends. <sighs> Madison, my love, I don't know how to explain all of this in just a few words. I'm afraid there's not much time left for me. I thought I would be safe by now. How did you? How would you? Oh, we'd say, I guess he said, I don't know how this would reach you, but... Linda! That's, that ain't Linda! Oh my god, your face! Hello. Hello! I don't know how to do a voice, that wouldn't be hard to hear. Hello, Richard! I'm such a fool! It was you from the beginning! Yes! Obviously it was her! Please, I beg you, just tell me what this thing is. I need to know. Such a fascinating work of engineering, don't you think? It's been in our eyes and ears here on Earth for me for more than a century now. It's been our eyes and ears until you locked it in a stupid sealed room, blocking its transmission. Now that it's working again, you'll have some really interesting neighbours soon. So is it like a camera and a tra 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 tracking beacon? No. Okay. Oh, here they come. Okay, so I was kind of right and kind of wrong. Linda wasn't... She wasn't a normal person who was killed and then taken over or just possessed or something like that, or copied. It generally was her, and I guess the stewardess had nothing to do with it. No, please, Linda. I guess it was just to cement the fact that he is protective of this suitcase. Cheer up, Richard. Your new life starts now. Oh. Thanks for putting a spotlight on me. Sorry, what? I wasn't listening. Are you okay? It's the third time I've asked you if you want zzzzt. Honey, on your cereal. Something zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
for price of your choice. Midnight scenes. Okay, so that was midnight scenes. It was um, I'm gonna say I didn't enjoy it as much as the um, first one. I think this one was scarier just because it had that initial moment of bah in your face, even if it was a bit slower than um, a usual just quick jump scare. Um, that it was effective, even though you kind of see it coming. I think the point of a jump scare is to, you know, catch you off guard with it. Uh, and it, I suppose it did sort of like prevent it, so you thought maybe it's not going to happen. Then it hit you. Overall, I would say the first one is better in my opinion because it was more like inherently creepy, and it it was just naturally scary, even though there wasn't much going on, even though, um, in this one, it, like, tr it really tried to, like, it was pretty much an another version of scariness, I guess, where it was trying to hammer home being really scary, and I think it got to the point where it was kind of like, yeah, we get it, you try to be scary, and I'm not saying they didn't do it effectively, it was just kind of, um, no, kind of step down from the last one. Uh, I do hope they make more, though. I am enjoying these. And I'll play Chapter 3 if it comes out. Not Chapter 3, Episode 3 if it comes out. Or if it's already out, I guess I'll play it. But, uh, yeah, that was... That was Midnight Scenes Chapter... Midnight Scenes um, Episode 2. Uh, the Goodbye Note. Anyway, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. I'll see you next week for another video. Alright, bye.